And I do remember he joined us in one demonstration and he was, we were demonstrating against the policy of shoot to kill. So when uh, the exam came out and I'm teaching in a nearby school, Mugumo Secondary School this time, <laughs> I find my father at lunchtime with a newspaper and he has underlined my name. And there I am with my two A's and a B's and I'm good. Wow. I know I'm going to make it, yeah. But there's, there's a period between... Yeah, so I taught for three months, then I got employed as a clerk at uh, Nairobi Law Courts. So I get employed as a clerk and I stay there up to September when I joined the university. One was joining the university in September. Yeah. So up to March, I'm an untrained teacher in Mugumo Secondary School. And from there on, I become a clerk and in Nairobi. at uh, the law courts. And so I have a file there of a clerk <laughs> and a file of a magistrate. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. that, now you're independent. Is this your first time now living or, or are you in I'm the I'm not living on my own. My sister is married and is staying at Umoja with the husband. Oh. So I come and stay with them when I'm a law clerk. I get. Yeah, yeah I'm living with Margaret. Wow. Yeah. Now I've become a city girl. <laughs> and the dream of becoming a judge. It's, become, it's coming nearer. And you know, it's so funny. A lot of people who have sat here mm -hmm. say they want to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Yours was that judge. That judge. Mm, <laughs> the moment you saw. Like the, the judge I saw, yes. I saw in Kirogoya, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. You joined Nairobi University. What year is this? 77 September. It means our first president is still. Jomo Kenyatta is alive. Okay, in fact, pause now on the Martha story. And he has even visited Kirinyaga when I'm in Form 1 in Kiboria. Mm. And we have lined up the tarmac road that is from Kutus to Kianyaga, mm. waiting for him to wave mm. as he is passing. Okay? So I've already seen a presidential motorcade, which was not very large, but in my memory it was large. That's the largest yes. you've seen. Mm. We've uh, also gone to Gatondo to sing for him when we are in Keboria. Mm. You know schools used to congregate to go and entertain yes. him. Yes. And... Uh, he has given us a cash reward of 72 shillings mm. for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of money, my dear friend. <laughs> and during that journey, the headmaster Gomez has ensured that they have made sandwiches. That's the first time I eat a sandwich. Yes. <laughs> sandwiches. They have made sandwiches uh, for us, meat sandwiches. Mm. That was our lunch. Yeah. Wow. So... Okay, mm -hmm. 70, 70, se, se, six, seven. 77, six. I mean, no. I mean, uh, I've joined university. So okay, actually, I, I said pause a bit on your story because I want to find out. Yeah. I know the president passed on in 78. 78. We'll come to that. So, but at this time, is mm. there signs of his, is he sick or? I'm not so alert as to oh, know those things. Okay. I'm also not so politically attuned. And you're not watching TV? Which TV? <laughs> TV came when we were in university. <laughs> okay, not a, uh, Even black and white, there isn't, there is a radio. <laughs> TV is a new creation. Okay, so, eh? You know, it's so amazing. And at that time, there is no electricity in our homes. Yes. So what TV are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is such an important eh? thing, what eh? you're saying. Yeah. You're, you're trying to, we're explaining the power of information. Yeah. I am shooting this. There is no middleman that I have to go through yeah. to give this content out to the public. It's on YouTube that this generation and generations to come can consume this content. 75, maybe those who lived in Nairobi had experienced the black and white. Yes. Up country, Not every other house doesn't have, a plus we have no access to electricity. Let's begin there. So the radios even have batteries. Mm -hmm. The radios, it's batteries, mm -hmm. you see? And money is still an issue. So how many people even have radios? Mm. You are ha privileged to have a radio. Mm. The radios that are the phones had not come. The age of information was not with us. As, mm. as, uh, uh, yeah. this Telephones is, yeah. came when I was in Form 5. 
And that's when the dial where you go through the operator mm. came and our number became Gatugora 16, <laughs> you know? And there were very few homes with that telephone because mm. it also cost money to it's install. It's a privilege, yeah. Yeah. So the telephone came before electricity mm. to our home. And finally, electricity comes. But the actual connection for electricity, because wiring was done as far back as 75, mm. I, Martha Karoa, brought electricity to my home area when I become MP. Wiring is done when I'm in Form 5, mm -hmm. but the promise of electricity to the homes never mm. is realized until I become MP. And I was there was going only to one home with electricity, the Karevi home and the Mogumo secondary. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was even going to, again, uh, every time you speak, nuggets come that I just want to sort of touch. And I'm going to allow you now to yeah, sort of move yeah, a bit. Yeah. The power then of devolution, as somebody who worked in the third president's government, yeah. uh, I know you worked as, as a CS at so that time, called minister in yeah. water, yeah. but then devolution, yeah. the power of devolution, in terms of developing, if you're talking that there's no electricity mm. in, explain the impact of devolution that you have seen from your perspective in terms of um, counties developing. I think um, if I talk countrywide, I'll say tremendous. Mm. In Kirinyaga, I'll say not what I would want to see because Kirinyaga was already ahead. Mm. Mm. We had piped water when we moved from the villages mm. to the farms. We had piped water, meaning the piped water project begins at colonial time, the Kabare water, mm -hmm. which became moribund and completely did not yield water by the time I become MP. Wow. And I reactivate the Kabare water project as MP. Mm. Wiring for elect electricity in homes is done, people do it in 75, 1975, with the promise that the government is bringing rural electrification. Mm. It doesn't come, it comes to schools, a few installations, doesn't come to the homes, and comes to the homes almost 20 years later, wow. after I become MP in 1992, December. So we are getting electricity later between 92 and 97, mm. you know? I get it. Yeah. So okay. It is crazy. There's so much yeah. I can see we are going to touch on later on in the story, but where we are right now, you've joined Nairobi University. I've joined Nairobi University from Nairobi Girls mm -hmm. and we are five of us from our class. In we are the second biggest cohort. Or con because Alliance Boys has eight boys who mm. joined the law class mm -hmm. of is, 77. And is it in Parklands at the time? No. It's Nairobi main campus. Mm -hmm. Followed by Nairobi girls. Five of us. <laughs> nice. Who include Nancy Barasa. Ooh. Nancy Makoha there. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And is there a boom? Yes. We get boom. So in terms of paying the fees for the we school, are given, it is paid by the government? We were given loans, so you never come into contact with the money. Mm -hmm. The loan is automatic for every student. And then out of the loan, there is money for your upkeep. upkeep. We were guaranteed three things, accommodation, tuition, and food. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. money for that is... You even don't come to know about it. Mm. You only come to know about the portion that comes to you, which is the boom, mm. you know? Mm. And the first time you're given 3,600 shillings, what? which was so much money. <laughs> I decided again on Tubman Street and you dress yourself up. <laughs> Stilettos. <laughs> you dress yourself <laughs> up. Yes. And you buy a few books. They used to tell us the boom is also supposed to buy books. Mm. I bought one or two books. There was no pressure to buy books. The university library, main library, was well stocked. The unethical behavior of plucking out whole chapters was not there. Oh. People respected the books at the library. Wow. So the reading material was in abundance in the library. The overcrowding was not there. Remember, we are 3,000. Mm. 
and law class, before us, they were taking 40 students. Mm. Our class was the largest ever, 74 mm. of us. Mm. So the library has the facilities you need. Martha, it didn't mm. matter where mm. you came from in this country, whether your parents had money or not, you had food, accommodation, accommodation and tuition. And tuition. And you are walking from the main campus to the halls of residence. We were all housed. Mm. And the halls of residence had not become slums as they are today. You are not cooking in your hall of residence. There's the main kitchen and the main dining. Girls are eating at the box. Boys are eating at the main CCU. Mm. But Good the food. day we want to be adventurous, as girls, we go for lunch at the CCU. You know you have your student card. Mm. Yeah? You go and eat with the boys. <laughs> yeah? And then you come back to your, you go back to class and come back to your halls of residence. So it was good. Life how, was good. How are your lecturers? How, what is now the quality oh, of the education that you're very getting? Very good. I was taught by the likes of the late Okotho Gendo, mm. Mm? Landlaw, Aaron Ring, Ringera, Evidence, Professor Kibwana was a lecturer, a tutorial fellow, meaning a junior lecturer at that time. Mm. So he lectured me. Willie Mutunga, oh, Landlaw, really? those are my lecturers. So we really had good <coughs> lecturers, yeah? And what was class like? What's the environment? Are you learning? Are you enjoying? Ooh, enjoying or enjoying? <laughs> and then Kamukunji is everywhere. Outside at the Great Court, mm -hmm. where is also the graduation would be, that is the main campus, you'll find people congregated and, you know, exchanging ideas, intellectual debates all around. Mm. So you may listen to those who are in the histories, those who are in whatever. You hear about Karl Marx because we are not coming ac across uh, Marxism, Leninism, because that's coming to those who are doing the BA. Mm. But you got to learn about it and you get snippets of it in what you're doing. It was great. I loved university. What kind of, and the people, uh, um, who you are with in class, in terms of your, your peers, your stu the students you are with? Oh, it was very nice. I still meet most of them today. Mm. Yeah. Who can, in fact, that's what I was asking. Nick, Robinson Jero Gedai, who is my uh, homeboy. Mm -hmm. We were in uh, university together. Uh, and uh, we, I, I pioneered as a member of parliament. He came in 10 years later. Wow. As member of Fondia. Mm. Um, uh, Kajuang, Otieno Kajuang mm -hmm, the late, mm -hmm. and uh, Kajuang was still pompous even <laughs> then. I believe, or I remember when we were to write our dissertations, Kajuang explaining to the lecturer, and I thought that was really very well structured, how he will do his research, how he will operationalize the data to come <laughs> to a thesis. I thought it sounded like a professor. <laughs> So those were my classmates and many more yeah. Yeah, who have been in uh, positions of uh, influence and decision making. Yeah. Willie Mutunga was your lecturer. He was my lecturer and I do remember he joined us in one demonstration and he was, we were demonstrating against the policy of shoot to kill. And he taught us how to go in an orderly manner, keep kind of keep lines and how to have marshals to police the lines as we demonstrate. What? To avoid infiltrators and to encourage each other to good behavior. And I can assure you then, as now, demonstrations were peaceful until police attack with tear gas and batons. You see, students only threw stones as a response to brutal brutalization by the police. You've talked about he First and foremost, you, he, you marshaled you with, with... Teaching us how to have marshals. Some of us policing yes. the lines. To because avoid we are walking the infiltrators. Which are the goons? Yeah. It's, that's that's yeah. the thing that you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, pickpockets, that kind of thing. So you are keeping watch when you walk in an orderly, whatever. Mm. Yeah. But by the time you're talking about to kill, then mm. I want us to... to it sounds... It sounds like this is the end of the, the Kenyatta era. In fact, we were shouting, shoot to kill, no way. Shoot to kill, no way. That was the chant as we were marching.